In this chapter, we are going to go through Azure Container Instances. So what are we going to learn? What are Azure Container Instances? And how do we work with them? So the Azure Container Instance is a service that allows you to deploy isolated containers. Here, you don't need to provision virtual machines for the containers. You can have your containers running within a matter of seconds. Here, the container instances get an IP address and a fully qualified domain name. So let's go on to Azure. Let's see how we can work with Azure container instances. So here we are in Azure. So remember the last time around, we went ahead and published an image from our Linux virtual machine on to our Azure Container Registry. Now we're going to go ahead and create an Azure Container Instance. So I'll search for Container Instances. Let me go ahead and hit on Create. So I'll choose my subscription and my resource group. I'll give a name for the container. I'll leave the region as it is. Now in the image source, you can go ahead and choose your quick start images which are available over here or you could go ahead and choose an image from docker hub so let's say you want to deploy the nginx container in the azure container instance you can just go ahead and place the name of the image that's nginx if you have your azure container registry you can go ahead choose your registry choose the image and what is the image tag you can also go ahead and change the size of the underlying infrastructure that's used to host your container. In the networking, so I'm going to ensure that I expose port 5000. So remember our application, our .NET Core application listens on port 5000. In the advanced, I'll leave everything as it is. Let me go on to review and create and let me go and create this container instance. Let's come back once we have this container instance in place. Now, once our deployment is complete, we can go ahead on to the resource. So in the OV for the container, if you go ahead and take the public IP address, if you go on to new tab and you go on to port 5000, you can now see your sample application in place. Right, so this marks the end of this chapter in which we have looked at how we can make the Azure Container Instance pick up an image from our Azure Container Registry and then run it as a container. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.